Now we will uh, try to execute uh, interpolation, okay? So the first thing you want to check before you do interpolation is to check the spatial resolution, not spatial resolution, your data resolution, okay? So you want to zoom in to your data and you can see that uh, these are basically the survey lines, right? The first thing you want to do is to see, uh, so you, you click this, so that's the ruler, okay? And then you click new and then you can see like the distance between one line to another. So that's basically around 100 meters or so. So you can click new again. That's around 90 meters, so it could be 100 again. And then the other one actually you can do is to see the distance between the points that's around maybe 25 meters, right? So you can do this and that. That's around yeah 25-ish meters. So that's the resolution that we will be working on. It's either 100 or 25 meters. The way to do that is actually to click processing and toolbox, okay? I already opened a lot of this in here, but I will mm, make it back into how it used to. So this is how it used to be. So you want to double click on Saga. Those are the algorithms that we will be using. There are a lot of algorithms in here, but we'll, we'll do Saga for now. And then you wanna click on raster creation tools. So there are a lot of different uh, interpolation methods. I will encourage you to try as much as possible, but the four main thing that you need to do is basically all the four things that we have taught in our, um, in our class. So you wanna do inverse distance weighted. So that's IDW. You wanna do natural neighbor. You wanna do um, simple crying. okay? And then the thin plate spline. Thin plate spline is basically spline, okay? Now we will try to do spline. So you can double click in there and choose your data, choose your attribute. It would be the depth core. Leave the regularization, leave the range, the search radius because you've got 100, then you, you, wanna, you want the radius for minimum 100. But I would suggest you to have it twice. So it's going to be 200, okay? because the distance is 100 meter. And then this one is just leave it, leave it, leave everything. And then the cell size, we will try 100 for now, okay? You want to save it, okay, save to file. I already saved it into a file, actually. Just put it a GRD file, okay? I'm going to save it. Uh, the name would be bat spline. As you can see, I already have it, 100, dot, uh, 100 meter. That's the name, save it, and then you just run it. So um, it will take you around one minute or so. So this is the how it looks like, okay? Uh, you can actually, well, you cannot see anything in here, firstly, but you can rename it into the same thing. So that uh, spline 100 meter. Uh, put underscore because uh, you you won't like uh, anything, you know, uh, you, don't, you won't like spaces in your data. So you can double click in here or actually just right click properties, okay? Uh, forget this bit. And then you want to go to your histogram to see the distribution of your data. So you want to see Okay, so that's how the data looks like. They are mostly around zero until 50. But again, if you want to have most of the data, that's basically between that, okay? So minus 10, minus five, that's the most, okay? You actually have some data that is above zero, but not much. So you could still make it into, let's try to do it with, uh, I think we will use spectral, that's interesting, but invert it so you will have uh, blue, uh, at the bottom and wrap at the top. Make it 50 and one first, okay? So try to apply it and I will actually, yeah, apply it first. Okay, so we see a lot reds. So that's not a good one. Um, maybe we could make it into 10, okay? Uh, okay, that's a lot better already. And we can actually clip out, out of range values. Yep, that's good. So we can unclick this one. And then this is basically how our bathymetry looks like for now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so maybe 10 is too small. 
try 15. Don't forget to invert it. Okay, that's better, I guess. Uh, we'll make it 20. Okay, I think mm, 10. No, 15. 15 is nice. 15 is nice. So this is how it looks like uh, for now. Okay. Um, and you can do another thin spline uh, with the same thing, but we will uh, do, well, search radius would be the same. Uh, we will make the cell size into 25. So we will save it to a file. It's going to be a GRD file again. So don't forget to choose GRD. That's the most useful uh, format for me. So that's bath uh, spline 25 meters. Okay, and then save it and then you run it. So, so this is how it looks like after you run it. Uh, the best way to actually see your data in the same range is actually to copy what you already did. So you can do is uh, right click on here uh, and then you choose style and copy style. Then you right click in here, style, paste style. So that's how it looks like when you have 25. It's actually good. 25 still gives you good, you know, a good visualization of your data. And then you can actually rename this into bath spline 25 meters. Okay. So that is spline. You can see the difference. Okay. And we will try to um, compare it with uh, your data itself. You can put it on top. Okay. So that makes sense. That doesn't have a lot of data. Makes sense that the other outside doesn't really have any data. Okay, so you can put it back down and uncheck it and then that's it. We will try another method in the next segment.